Hello and welcome to the show. I, like many people, was quite excited about having the Peel P50 come to Forza Horizon 4. It is an ideal car to do silly things with, and Horizon 4 is an ideal game to do silly things with said car. You see, <laughs> we can swap the engine in the Peel. The standard engine has all of four horsepower. However, we can put in the motorbike engine. Now, I built this car up on stream a little while ago, and we can get a near 300 horsepower engine into the peel. Four horsepower? 300 horsepower. That is a significant, significant amount of power. I mean, hell, this is technically more power, I say technically, it is more powerful than my actual real-life car that is a relatively rapid vehicle. So, <laughs> yeah, it's mad. It's mad. You can also do a drivetrain conversion. You can make it, well, what would technically be three-wheel drive, which is highly recommended as, well, funnily enough, when you put 300 horsepower through that single rear wheel, it's not very controllable at all. Even all-wheel drive, it's not, it doesn't really handle it really doesn't. It, it, it's not particularly capable of driving, as we are now going to go and demonstrate. I have got the aero uh, turned all the way down. Uh, speed running wise, we're likely to see about 180 miles an hour out of this car if I was to go to the long motorway straight. But that is not the point of uh, today's video. I am going to try and find a use for the peel outside of the occasional surprisingly silly drag race victory which it can achieve just because of its lightweight and uh, well three-wheel drive launch i'm going to try and get three stars on various uh, pr stunts various of these things speed zones with corners in probably not going to be friendly uh, considering that one there needs us to average 135 miles an hour i did that in either a tvr speed 12 or the agera RS. So I don't think I can do 130. We'll give it. We'll go have a look. Uh, we'll go. We'll go have a look while we are here. See what I what I can manage out of this. If it's a speed zone or a camera that's in a nice place, it might be doable. Uh, as it is, oh god, there's a jump and everything. <laughs> oh, it's a corner. There's a jump. There's a corner. I mean, it might be a two-star worthy. Uh, Thing. It's, it's a little bit, oh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to tell potentially uh, with me having done quite a lot of these. Uh, of these. Uh, we'll actually crack 100 miles an hour. We do, in fact, crack 100 miles an hour through there. Only 50 miles an hour down on the speed 12. I mean, <laughs> only 50, but uh, I actually think that's going to be a little worse uh, finding our way through there. Oh, yes, I want to do an off road. Oh, we might be able to do that. 135 there. It's on dirt, but we have a wheel drive. Well, we're three-wheel drive. I mean, it's going to have to do. <laughs> You're very, it doesn't help that we're at, well, it doesn't help that we're at night. Um, for me, I guess visually filming, I tend to prefer stuff in the day, as it's just a little bit clearer. Uh, it can actually sometimes be helpful seeing uh, traffic, or headlights, essentially going on when you are racing around at night. Uh, You'll sometimes see headlights before you'll see a car. Ooh, do we try? Okay, we've got a nice little section, actually, of danger signs and drift zones. Shall we see how far? There is another small downside to the peel being so light and everything. Uh, when it comes to crashing through scenery, as you can imagine, the 400-pound car, whoop, is not the easiest of things. It will go through some of it, but uh, you hit enough. You hit sort of three or four bits in a row, and then you are in some real, real trouble. Uh, oh, or just tip the car sideways. Here we go. Across the... Oh, don't go for a front flip, please, Peel. Four, <laughs> 462 feet and a roll. Good start. So we've done 640. Is, I think we need about 600 for that one. Um, I mean, we're actually fairly fairly close to getting it. That's definitely not a good danger sign. I think we can three-star a danger sign without too many troubles with this uh, vehicle, but probably not that one. One involving off-road stuff, probably not one to go for. Okay, Peel, we will make you into Ultimate Driftmobile. 
God. Uh, when, so when I was waiting for this car to be restored, I was messing around with a, a Triumph Spitfire. Admittedly, all-wheel drive, maybe a little cheaty. Um, considering what it's in, I'm going to forgive myself. Considering the, the, the vehicle that it's in, I will, I will forgive myself. I'm also pretty sure still on normal steering, because uh, driving this on simple... This is how twitchy it is on... Oh, it was a fail, because I spun it around too many times. Uh, yeah, consider how many times I'm spinning this with normal steering because it randomly twitches itself back. Oh crap, I don't want to knock over the signposts. Not really if I could help it. Oh, they're big. I say they're big rocks. They're basically the size of the peel and we've swatted them out of the way. <laughs> oh, this is kind of everything I'd hoped it would be, I'll be honest, in terms of mad, mad silly vehicle. Oh, that was that was going quite well up until the point where we were kind of just hanging the rear wheel off the, off the road. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we had too much of the car off the road. I don't think the car is a fair word to judge this thing. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure drift here. I don't know if dirt... I, I feel like dirt is probably a better... This is the... If you can build one of these to be more controllable for this, well done. Uh, you might find more control with it on a wheel. I don't actually know if there's really much. Oh, look at that! That was almost a drift with a peel! Haha! <laughs> We got two stars on a drift zone where I spent most of it pointing backwards. I am surprisingly happy with that. <laughs> oh, you're going to tell me how many was... Oh, God damn it, it used to, and it sometimes does tell me how many more points I need. Um, we need to get 45,000. Could I really three-star a dirt drift zone with a... I mean, I actually reckon this probably could. The trick's going to come from me with my steering. Uh, I've got to try and be really careful with the tank slappers. There's, that's what's going to get it. That's what's going to cause it issues here. Um, don't want to... Like said, this is a, it's probably not a terribly difficult drift zone with a sensible, considering I got as close as I did with this. Uh, we're actually pretty damn close this time around. It's going to be a better run. Come on, mad little peel of fairly coolness. Mad peel of fairly coolness. I think second gear is where we're going to want it. I can't believe I'm well, this wasn't quite the... Well, I say it wasn't the initial intention. I didn't think I'd get hung up on a drift zone. I didn't think I'd actually be able to even vaguely get close. Uh, so, yeah, second gear is probably what I'm going to want. Oh, it was a reverse entry in appeal. And I got no points for that because it was too far sideways. I feel like I am owed all of the bonus points for doing a reverse entry. So the next corner wasn't as good. Uh, we'll stick with the reverse entry being awesome. This bit, not so awesome because I can't now get it out of the... <laughs> That's probably the best place for it. Uh, <laughs> once it starts tank slapper, you are not getting out of it. Oh. God, you can get very, very sideways and recover it. Uh, or you can get really twitchy. I'll do a couple. I'll have a couple more runs. I'll have a couple more runs through here. Uh, I, it would be fun to be able to do it. I'm just not sure I've got the... Whoa, got the control to do it. Or if you guys have got the patience for me to do it. Uh, get that going in the right direction. Don't go that way. If we go that way, it'll... Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> I think that direction's better for me. We can do this first corner neater and score good points. A sensible car, you could probably do this in two corners and get the 45. No trouble. But, uh, well, it's not a sensible car. It's going to get 11,000 through there. So trying to figure out what to do with the steering. Actually, trying to get going again as well from a spin is surprisingly... Surprisingly difficult. Oh, no, don't overcook it on the way in. We have overcooked it, but we've not had the worst issues. Oh, we're going to do mega slides. No, we're just going for throwing it around now. I mean, something, it's scoring us again. It was been. Ah, uh, that's going to fail. <laughs> It's always the case when I do when I do these drifts. Well, I say when I do when I do these drift shows with silly cars, you get that one run that looks like ah, oh, it might actually be doable, and then my skills run out, or perhaps more likely, my luck has given up. <laughs> a lot of what goes on with this, it, I don't get stuck obsessing over one drift zone. You map it. A lot of what goes on with this is based on pure luck. I feel like I deserved more than eight thousand points for that. I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna lie to you. That was definitely worthy of more. Whoop! That was not worthy of many more. Uh, <laughs> come on, we just need. Ah, oh, god damn it! I'm not spinning it around quick enough. Right, we will have one more go heading back. And oh, that's a full-on reverse entry. It's a 360 to exit. Totally intentional. One more go, and once we've gone through it, we'll head to the speed trap, and we'll see what we can do there. Uh, no, no. <laughs> 
think I'm using almost too much. No, okay, well, I actually have one more proper go. Uh, I don't know whether I want speed or whether I don't want speed. Probably not speed. Low speed drifting, about 30 mile an hour drifting is probably what we want. Uh, tire wise, this thing only gets off road tires. Uh, that is the tires options. You have either that or stock tires, and off road tires are better. Not only off road, but just better in general than the vehicle's stock tire. So that is what I have the the peel on here. Oh, come on, if we don't bulls up this final corner, I might actually... Oh, it's going to be tantalizingly close. I did bulls up the final corner. We got very close. It was a better run. And that's actually a pretty solid run. <laughs> that was a pretty solid run. We're 10,000 points away. That's actually a fairly straightforward drift section. I'm just not... Well, I'm in a peel, so I'm not very good. Uh, speed camera up here. Let's see what we can manage. I mean, this was probably done in one of my rally cars, judging by the bit of terrain. Don't go on three wheels, you muppet! <laughs> 144 miles an hour. Would that have been enough? <laughs> it would have done. We have got three stars on a... We've found, I say we've found a use, yeah. Short acceleration zones. Funnily enough, probably what this is going to be good at. Being so light, you know, that, that power to weight ratio on this is unbelievable. And for that brief moment where you can get some control in it, that's where you are going to stand the most chance of doing something good. Or that was had so much momentum, I had it in reverse, and it was still trying to go forwards. That was a that, that's how big our crash that one. I think that's actually a nasty direct. Oh, we airborne anyway, so we're not going to want that. Ooh, it does funny things when you land. Uh, we've uh, gone exploring again. Can I beat 150 mile an hour? I don't think I. I don't think I'm going to go much better than that. But if I can set a personal best with the peel be quite good. We'll go on to... I promise we will actually go explore something some, something somewhere different. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go that way. I do feel like this car is 50% controlled by me, 50% controlled by itself, and you better hope itself or the car wants to do what you want it to do. Otherwise, it's going to visit the trees or something. Uh, stop bouncing around. No, it's not a better, not a better run. 136 miles an hour still would have been good enough for... <laughs> For three stars. That's surprisingly competent with those. That is surprisingly competent at those. Let's go and have a look. Do I have any danger signs I haven't done? We might do. I'm a little bit lazy. I say a little bit lazy when it comes to danger signs. Uh, I do tend to utilise the rewind button a fair bit. That would be impossible. That's a horrible, horrible danger sign uh, to do. That's a horrible one to do as well. Uh, I think all the ones that I haven't done are basically the, the horrible, horrible jumps. This one's fun, so let's go do this. So we're aiming for 600 feet. Uh, you're essentially jumping off the top of a little hill towards Edinburgh. We're hoping for half decent landing. Now, the peel has got acceleration to deal with small run-ups, but it doesn't have the handling, perhaps, to deal with some of the run-ups. This is a little bit of a windy uh, run-up. We want, you know, a lot of acceleration up here. Uh, and it's not the worst jump that uh, that we could come across. So we're looking about 600 foot is the one to go for. Why are we spinning? Could someone please explain to me the spinning? Or the falling over? Before, um... <laughs> Why did it turn in the air? Did I do something wonky with that? I mean, it's not exactly aerodynamically proportioned. Was I, I wasn't steering when I left. I thought I was actually fairly well lined up. Maybe it hit the lip. Can't really tell, unfortunately, from there. Yeah, maybe the lip of the ramp. This is why I say I'm lazy when I'm doing danger signs, especially with one like this. This is actually a bit of a faff to um, set the car up for if you complete it. I did this one in a Forzathon live event, and because you've got to sort of loop your way back up, it's a bit more time consuming basically to get back up to the, to the ramp itself, which is why I'll probably be lazy and rewind, unless it is a pretty... A spectacular jump. Here we go. So, patience up here, because otherwise we're going to do that. Nope. <laughs> We've got the whole the whole bobbling around, which we didn't want. Patience, that side. There we go. Now we can unleash all of the bike engine. Oh, that's looking good. It's looking promising. It's looking promising. 642 feet for the flying peel. I think that is good enough for... It would be good enough. <laughs> stars. Fantastic. Uh, shall we go jump over? You know what? That looks like a horrible, horrible thing for a peel to try and do. Let's just launch the peel at the scenery. 
I'm actually a little bit, I say I'm a little bit surprised, you know. I thought we were going to have more troubles with the... It is so horrendous, horrendously out of control 90% of the time. I didn't think I'd be able to get that 10% of the time in control to actually do any of these uh, various stunts. I'm amazed that the, the, well, the drifting was... Is the game very kind with the drifting in terms of its scoring system, I'll be honest. But uh, even then, it was... Uh, <laughs> It, it was on that on the particular run that went well. It wasn't necessarily the game being kind. That is a pretty good leap. What is that going to be? Six eighteen. I think that probably been enough again. It's not an eight hundred foot jump. Oh, no, I think it's seven hundred foot for this one. Oh, seven fifty. That one there is a tougher. We would have got two stars. Just I don't think we could have done that one there much. Could have got much better on on that one. <laughs> Shall we have a look? What other sort of things have we got? We have got, of course, a drift zone. Shall we have uh, speed zones, speed traps? We'll have a look at some of those uh, around the place. Maybe not go try... Maybe not go be able to do 100,000 there. Ooh, I wonder if we go for a fast... We'll go for a fast speed... I'll just dump that on there because I don't actually know this part of the map very well. So... <laughs> this could be a rough idea of which way I'm heading. Maybe. Uh, what is peel like in water? What is its speed running like in the... Uh, Eh, it's not great in the water. Although, are you surprised? It's tiny. It's not supposed to be great when it comes to the comes to the water. I have been playing around a little bit. Unfortunately, it does look like the um, I say the old problem. It does look like we are back to 111 miles an hour is all you can ever obtain in water. Uh, sadly, uh, it'd be fun if we could go quicker, but uh, <laughs> Forza physics in the world in the world of Forza. Those are the rules for vehicles, basically. I do need a pretty good run-up here. Although the wheelie wasn't conducive to a good run-up as we came across there. Because uh, we need 180 here and the Peel's top speed is about 180 miles an hour. So we did really need everything to work. And all we need is bigger space as we could get. Wheelie won't help with that. If we can get a rolling start from a little further back, that just gives you that... A few more meters might be all we need. Oh, it's very, very fiddly and difficult to control. Oh, it's going to be so close to cracking 180. It's not going to do it. It's going to be like 170 miles an hour across the speed trap. Disappointing. Uh, again, it's not going to go fastest of my times. Not when things have been set by, as I said, the T TVR, the Aguera, uh, and so on. However, oh no, fence! Why would you betray me so? That was absolutely no call for that. So I was going for a jump. Well, we've got to go for the split ramp, which is very awkward to aim for at the best of times. Super duperly awkward to aim for with a peel when I've got to try and change direction here. If we get it right, the peel will do a backflip. If we get it wrong, not much will happen. We got it wrong. Again, I'm going to be lazy. Uh, <laughs> just nicked the side of it. Nope. Well, we've gone for the 360... No flip. I almost went for the 540 no flip across there. Yeah, split round is very difficult to aim for in appeal. It's just it, it's quite a lot of well, let's say luck of the draw. You just sort of hope for the best, and uh, that was that. Have we got any? Do we have got a quick a quick go? Oh, that's 85,000 point. No, we don't want that. We want a small drift zone with a low amount of points needed. Hmm be funny if I could do that because I'm, I'm willing to bet that was set with a rally car. <laughs> I'm willing to bet. So we've done three star on speed zone, uh, on a couple of speed zones. We've done three star on a danger zone. We're not gonna be able, you're not going to be able to do three star with the peel on everything. I mean that should be a given. And more to the point, most cars can't three star everything uh, outside of potentially uh, all wheel drive swapped hyper cars uh, with rally tyres. They might be able to. Maybe I'll have that, give that a go at some point in a uh, in a video. I, did, I think I tried that on Horizon 3, actually. You went for a Lotus Esprit. Uh, this has gone outstandingly well. Is this going to be a one-time thing? Or have I have I become the drift master of the peels? Don't say that. That's a silly thing to say. Oh, no, 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 no. We were going so well. Now, don't get too excited. Oh, God damn it! I got too excited and stalled trying to get going again. Holy crap, there was some proper drift. Well... As close to proper drifting as I get. 
Uh, I play too much of this game because there is a fair bit of drifting stuff to do, and I've been yeah, I've been I've been le that's kind of been the stuff I left till last, and now I'm still in drift mode. Uh, <laughs> oh God, this has not gone as well. No, come on, bring it back. No, nah, you see, drop once once it's spun. I think this thing doesn't stop spinning its wheels. Like when you let off the throttle, I think that's one of the issues I'm having with this. Oh, wonder if. Is it powerful enough to know? Okay, I, I was wondering if uh, you... So, a handbrake theoretically would be locking up the rear wheels, or rear wheel in this case. I wondered if it was... It's all-wheel drive, it's powerful enough to pull itself forward. Uh, kind of. Hmm. Might be a way to do it, but... Uh, <laughs> Don't, I don't, you just don't get the control in the car. This is a very, very fiddly, very technical little uh, zone. Rain, probably not going to help. We've got more than enough power and lack of control to uh, skid the car around. I wonder if maybe no power at all into some of these corners is going to uh, be a good way to go, almost. So, it's a sneaky tactic, and a very cheesy one at that. However, essentially what I'm doing is I'm driving it into the corner, handbrake on, and then steering, and not touching the power. We will need to for this hairpin, I would think. Uh, it's kind of working as far as as far as well as far as it was. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of a cheesy tactic, but it kind of works. It doesn't really score you very many points the way I'm doing it anyway. Again, I'm sure there is a way of making that work. Uh, we are nowhere near as as good as I was the first time round. That beginner's luck. Oh, damn it, I like the beginner's luck. The beginner's luck was great fun. Can I have more of that, please? No, go backwards again. Peel. What did I say about going backwards? Please don't. Oh, it's going to be 43. <laughs> this is what I said I want to do. I could be here, like, literally all day trying to do it. One more go. One more go. Uh, <laughs> if I can get three stars with a peel, I'll be very happy. I'm not going to because I've got no control of it on the way in here. Uh, 360s are fine, they're allowed on drift zones, apparently. Uh, as I said, it's very lenient with this. It's just a real bit of fun at the end of the day. This is an amazing start in terms of points, just let's not go too far away that we get them all taken away from us. Uh, not quite sure how we've scored them, because, let's face it, we've fallen off the road more than we have been actually on the road. Uh, <laughs> no, stop doing that! Why have you done that? Sometimes it's, sometimes it's so okay with cornering weirdly, and then other times it does that and it's just, it, it twitches and becomes un, an undrivable mess more than it normally is. Oh, no, no, come on. It was a really great start and then I've pissed it all away in these later stages. Uh, it'd have to be a mega, a mega final corner for the peel. He's going to get close, but it's not going to be enough. <laughs> what a silly machine. What a silly, silly machine, and I almost, could almost do it, like it could do that if I got it right. If I got it spot on, it would do it, but it'd take me about five hours, and I don't, I don't, I don't think I have the time or the patience for that one. The final thing that we do have to do, of course, uh, seeing as we are here, uh, we've got to, got to give it a speed run, um, we've got to give it a, got to give it a showcase of just how fast this vehicle can go. Of course, I should probably put the aero back up because I got the aero off the speedrun stuff. Um, I don't. It, it doesn't make that much of a difference uh, ultimately. The vehicle being 300 horsepower in the land of speedrunning is not much, and it's hardly in the most aerodynamic shape. It's not the worst, but it's not the most aerodynamic shape in existence. It's the control that's really the bigger. You can already see the control is the bit of the issue here. Uh, whoa! <laughs> That was a 170 mile an hour wheelie at a... Yeah, that's not a helpful time really, is it? Uh, when we really needed to go. The, the, the little bit of gravity assistance in this tunnel is wonderful. Not so wonderful when that's your opportunity and the PL is doing funky things. Yeah, turning isn't great. Thankfully, everyone's gone to sleep. Uh, Sometimes the game just uh, doesn't seem to load up AI traffic. There is traffic in this game, honest. Just every so often, I don't know whether it's I'm in between uh, Horizon Solo and Online, and it's trying to sink in traffic or something. I don't really know. But 
either way. It makes my life easier here. This is it. We've got the run. Down the tunnel we go. 179. I want 180 out of you. There we are. 180 miles an hour from the peel. In fact, that is all it is going to have to give. Uh, there's no... Yeah, that's, that's not buzzing the limiter. It's just run out of... That's kind of the aero limit. An engine limit, if you like, of the vehicle. Things like the Lotus 11, sure, can get uh, a silly amount of speed out of 300 horsepower. However, for the peel, I think... 180 is not bad, and somehow I got it controlled through there. <laughs> How did I manage that? I was fully expecting it to veer wildly off and out of control, and apparently not. Apparently we're still going to go. Shall we get to, can we get to 180 at another point? There's a speak. We're not going to get three stars here. I'm going to put that out there right now. Uh, <laughs> 180 miles an hour there is not going to be enough. I think it's about 260 is needed there for three stars. Oh, we're gone. And I don't actually know if me touching the steering would help at all. I think the crash barrier was probably the safer uh, bit for helping. And there we go. <laughs> Peel's mad. The Peel is as mad as, you know, you would probably have ever expected it to be. As much as I'd love to see, you know, like the Aerial Atom engine. Realistically, expectation-wise, it was only ever going to be the motorbike engine. And 300 horsepower in this is you know, a lot. It's not really controllable. Apparently doing long donuts around a roundabout is doable in the PL, if I could get it right, which I'm very surprised by. Uh, I can't get it right now. Nope, we're going to have all sorts of wrong. There we go. That's the ticket. Now we're just going to try and drift the entire roundabout in a PL P50, and then I will be happy. <laughs> it's working! With a many hours of practice, maybe I could get it to do some silly things. I'm not going to have many hours of practice. However, yeah, the the peel is fun. We'll definitely do some sort of multiplayer races rather than farting around with the PR stunts slash danger signs slash whatever. Um, it's good fun at the end of the day. Uh, this is a barn find car for those that might be wondering. It's the summer barn find car and yeah, it's, it's silly, silly entertainment with a lot of power and... Nothing. Just nothing, really, in in the way of control. That, though, is going to be it for this video. I'm just curious as to what these bits are over here. Are these... Oh, they are cricket nets. Cool. Apparently, apparently, the peel doesn't fit in them. Thank you very much for <laughs> watching. And until next time, a uh, goodbye. I have a magic peel.